It's not often we see collectors' laptops like the Asus ZenBook 14X OLED Space Edition. Announced at CES 2022, it's an updated version of the already released ZenBook 14X OLED, fit with new 12th Gen Intel's processors and a more robust build, but hardware isn't what makes the Space Edition special. The machine is inspired by Asus's own P6300 which launched into space in 1997 and managed to stay outside the atmosphere for 600 days without any defects. It's an homage, a celebration, and a retrospective on how far laptops have come. Don't let the space theme fool you, though. The ZenBook 14X OLED Space Edition is still in the running to be one of the best laptops on the market, even ignoring its theme. And after spending a few days working and playing on the machine, I'm even more convinced of that plane. So, welcome to our new product review episode. If you are new in our channel then please subscribe our channel and press bell icon for notification of our new videos. I had to constantly remind myself that the ZenBook 14 X Space Edition is geared toward collectors. And that's because I wanted to use it as my daily driver. Space theme aside, this is an excellent laptop that stands on its own. The theme doesn't ever get in the way of that. The swirling patterns on the top and deck of the laptop are clean and elegant, and the two orange keys, the space bar and power button, are understated and never distracting. I could use the 14X Space Edition every day, and I wouldn't have a problem with that. That's because it's built on the foundations of a great laptop. The Asus ZenBook 14X OLED is top of its class, and the Space Edition just builds on that design. This new model comes with up to an Intel Core i9-12900H and Wi-Fi 6E, as well as a more robust build that adheres to the U.S. Space Systems Command Standard, a large step up from the military standard used on other ZenBook models. You can also cram in up to 1TB of P4.0 SSD storage and 32GB of RAM. It comes with the same beautiful 1610 OLED display, too which boasts 100% coverage of the PCI P3 color gamut and is Pantone validated for color accuracy. It looks incredible, with rich contrast and vibrant colors from edge to edge. Even with the screen, the keyboard stood out for me. It's not any different from last year's ZenBook 14 X OLED, and that's a good thing. The key travel is great at 1.4mm, and the spacing matches a desktop keyboard. I typed this article on the ZenBook 14X OLED Space Edition, and I never missed a keystroke. Audio was my only issue in the brief time I spent with the ZenBook 14X OLED Space Edition. The laptop includes a pair of down-firing speakers, and they get loud. The problem is that they would distort all too often, even at low volumes, and dynamic sources triggered a nasty compression that would duck the volume. It's possible that I have a blown speaker on my test unit, but that doesn't make a difference. This machine should adhere to the Space Systems Command Standard, so broken speaker or not, it wasn't a great audio experience. For all the changes, there's a lot that Asus kept the same. Four ports, you still have access to dual Thunderbolt 4 connections, a USB 3.2 Gen 2 port, a micro SD card slot and a full-size HDMI 2.0 port. You still get a fingerprint reader on the power button and number pad 2.0 for the trackpad, which continued to be useful. The most striking change in the Space Edition is the monochrome Zen Vision display on the top of the laptop. It looks great and is functional. By default, it displays the time when your screen is open, and it shows the time and your battery level when the lid is closed. Unfortunately, the display turns off after 10 seconds with the lid closed, and I couldn't find a way to extend that time in the My Asus app. This is the most practical use of the ZenVision display, so it's a shame there isn't a way to extend the duration. It doesn't pop up when the battery is charging, either, which feels like a missed opportunity. In fact, the software side leaves a lot on the table. You can use one of four animations provided by Asus, add any text you want or use it as a label with a QR code. That's it as of right now, though Asus suggested in a press briefing that more functionalities will arrive for the display over time. Hopefully, that includes more settings to adjust the time the display stays active, 
tools for creating your own animations, and more granular control over animation speed and the like. I'd also like to see better tools for adding your own images. You can throw any image, GIFs included, on the Zanvision display. But you need to crop it to a specific resolution, not just an aspect ratio. The results aren't great, either, as you can see with the compressed image of the Exo Stranger in Destiny 2 below. I love the idea of the Zanvision display, but Asus needs to work on the software. As it stands now, it's not as practical as it could be. Hopefully, Asus will update the app with more functions in the future, say maybe a status indicator for Spotify or stats for a game you're playing. For sp Thanks for watching this video. If you think this video is useful, then please give a like in this video and share with others. Bye for now.